Hey everyone, welcome to Claire's Fuel Cycle Food Log. Today's day one and it's Sunday and I'll be doing this for two weeks. And I'm also teaming up with Katie, the Ironheart Mama. Linked below will be her Instagram and her YouTube channel that you can go get information about her on. She is a God-fearing woman that I am so glad to know that is also from Buffalo and follows Stream Healthy Mama for health reasons and uh, I'm just, I'm blessed by her. So go follow her as you follow me along on this two week fuel cycle. I will be posting everything that I eat for the next few weeks and I hope you enjoy this and if you're coming back to watching this later on, I hope this helps you as you plan out your future fuel cycles. Good morning, it's day one of my fuel cycle. In my slow cooker for church, I am making the slow fajitas that are on page 53 of the Trim Healthy Mama cookbook. I'm using chicken instead of beef, but following every, all the other ingredients here. I'm gonna be cooking up some bacon and eggs and making a scramble for breakfast. I made my first trimming that I'll be drinking in a minute. I need to add the peppers to this and then I'll be done with this. So this is the start of my Sunday to get things busy, you know, going along and cooking up so that I eat on time throughout the day. And uh, let me get the peppers in here and then I'll show you my breakfast after I cook it, which will be just basically, you know, probably some vegetables, scrambled eggs and um, some bacon. All right, I just want to show you my breakfast that I'm making. I added, um, I just drained the grease from the bacon and then I added the spinach and part of a small yellow squash. So it's still cooking in some of this, you know, this bacon grease. So just along with the story of spinach, the pan was full and now it's hardly any in here. <laughs> so I'm going to scramble up uh, two eggs and throw that in this so that it is all uh, like a scrambled egg um, skillet. I don't know what you want to call it. A scramble, a breakfast scramble with these veggies. I'm not following a recipe, I'm just throwing vegetables in a pan with eggs. All right, so there's no recipe to go to except uh, what you see here. So I'll be enjoying this, probably make another trimmy. This one's just about gone as I'm making food. And then I added another half a bag, well a whole bag of the frozen veg, the pepper mix instead of cutting them up because they're way cheaper. It's only like $1.78 for a bag of these frozen peppers, so it's like way cheaper than buying all the peppers. And then I also added another half a bag, so I can use that other half for um, cooking with eggs in the morning. All right, everyone, it's Sunday morning, and here is my breakfast all done. I have three slices of bacon, which I think I overcooked, but I went outside to the garage, so I got, I was out there like probably 30 seconds longer than I should have been. I made another trimmy, which tastes better than my first one for some reason. And um, here are my eggs. Instead of scrambling them in a bowl and adding them, I just put the eggs in the pan and then scrambled them in the pan so I didn't have to dirty another dish. Okay, all you moms out there can understand that. So I'm gonna eat it and my husband sees this and now he's gonna make him some because he's like, ooh, that looks good. There's bacon in the fridge too if you want that. So um, this is what I'm gonna go eat and then figure out time-wise how the rest of my day because as you've learned, some days are the hardest time-wise so I have to figure things out. I need like a, probably a light snack. I'll probably bring stuff to make a trimmy to church and have that, no wait, I need to, I gotta figure it out. Cause like in three hours from now, we'll be on our way to church or just getting to church. So I have to figure out what to do. I'll figure it out then. There's my blueberry thief. Oh, let's see, turn this way. It's a California bluebird, but I put a net over my blueberry bush so he couldn't get them anymore. And he squawks in the backyard like he's mad. And then he found our bird feeder in the front. So now he's eating the bird food in the front, which is what he should be doing. <laughs> he's a beautiful bird, except he eats my blueberries. The first year he ate all of them. And then we realized it was him and put a net on it and that worked. And this year it was just a little bit too late. So we lost a couple. There he is, Mr. Bluebird. All right, just in case I don't get this later, I made a uh, mini version of, um, I didn't follow the recipe for the secret big boy smoothie. I tried to make a chocolate strawberry smoothie. There's strawberries in this, but I can't taste them. It tastes like chocolate, it tastes really good. So I'm making just um, a snack version of it to eat when we get to church in about an hour. 
And then I brought a tea bag to have a cup of tea when everybody else is having coffee. I have this for my husband. He can have that other half of it. I used um, cocoa powder and uh, almond milk. I shouldn't have put the ice in it. So that made it extra thick. And then uh, and sweetener and, and you know all the normal stuff. Uh, and then in here is a strawberry limeade Good Girl Moonshine with a couple strawberries blended together with some ice and uh, lime. I don't. I gotta find the recipe. I'll try to link it down below because this is really good and it's a sipper. Um, you got to be careful how many strawberries you put in because you'll be adding carbs to it. But you got to just add like three or four, and uh, to keep it under the carb count at really low. So anyway, I'm gonna drink this at church. I'm gonna drink this when we get to church. This will be like you know, um, to drink with like lunch and stuff. And then hopefully I'll remember to video the fajitas for you. Ow, what? Tonight so is Sunday night, and this is my dinner. It's about eight thirty. Last time I ate was about between 4 and 4.30, so I'm going roughly four hours, and I did have a iced coffee on the way home from church with cream and stevia, so um, that helped me to get a little bit longer. I'm having a salad, and then I made the Wonder Wraps, and I'm going to be putting the leftover fajitas in it from church. Now, I don't have footage because I forgot at church. So um, this is exactly what I ate at church, except I didn't have the Wonder Wraps. I just had salad and um, some fajitas at lunchtime. And I also drank a, oh, what's it called? Strawberry limeade Good Girl Moonshine with it. And um, I put in here Baobab water from Oh Sweet, what's her, what's her website? Oh Sweet Marcy, is that the name of her, her blog? She's a True Healthy Mama blogger. Um, I'll try to remember to link it down below, but it's just Baobab and water and some stevia. And then I added some um, lemons to it for make it a little lemony. And uh, then in here I have some water, so I'll be drinking that. But um, I think I'm going to put some ranch on this. And then I'm going to enjoy this right now. I'm not going to add any cheese or sour cream, even though I'd like to. I might just put a little tiny. No, I'm not going to. I'm not going to add any cheese. So anyway, that's what I'm going to do. And then I'm going to watch Someone Calls the Heart. So this is what I'm eating for my dinner. Um, it is late. I probably will not have a snack if I do. I think what I should do is have something that's a fuel pull, and uh, we'll just see from there what I have. So this is what I'm having right now. I'm just coming back on to let you know that I did not put ranch on here. I found some homemade dressing in, in the refrigerator. Um, this is a recipe that's sweet and tangy, something from inside this book. I'll um, try to remember the name of it and put it down in the description box when I edit this video. But I just put some on it. So that is just, um, that's a deep S. That's, that's all, uh, I can't remember what's in it. Probably like olive oil and, um, so I know there's garlic in it. I can't remember what else is in it. But anyway, this is uh, homemade from this cookbook. Anyway, so that's what I put on my dressing, on my salad. <laughs> All right, so just before bedtime, I'm treating myself to a cottage berry whip. I measured, so it is the correct ingredients. This is not a fuel pull. I believe my cottage cheese is 4%, not one or two. Uh, I can't find a, a clean version of that without uh, within my budget. I think Daisy is like that, but I'm not spending the money. So I use the Winco stuff and it's 4%, I believe fat. So anyway, I have this. I'm going to go enjoy it. And uh, it is 10.15. So it is an hour and 45 minutes. Wow, that's really close. I probably should have eaten this sooner, but I was busy cleaning the bathroom. So I'm going to eat this and go to bed. I drank all of my sipper that I had here, the Baobab water. I have water in here that I'm going to refresh and put some ice in and drink that and go to bed. So that is all I ate for today. Not very exciting, but I'm not hungry. I'm not starving. And I believe today was a success other than I think this dessert is a little too late, but I'll survive because it's not like heavy. It's not like I'm eating peanut butter, skinny chocolate, you know, or cake and stuff. And then I'll see you tomorrow with what I eat tomorrow. Tomorrow is another deep S day. Bye. Thanks for watching. Be a blessing. <laughs> Be a blessing. Isn't that what you used to say? Yeah, I'm still recording. Oh. We got you on there. As my husband says, be a blessing.